Okay, that's new. Alright, and welcome back to the channel, everybody, to another Hunt Showdown video. And we will talk more about the Sol, the new map that dropped on the Hunt Showdown test server. The goal of this video is to showcase the single compounds. There are 16 in total, and I will spend roughly one minute for each of them. I will talk a little bit pros, cons, what I think about them, what makes them awesome, and I hope you will enjoy that. I already did it for Lost and Delta, so I thought, why not do it for the Sol? Here we go. Let's get started with Lower the Sol, basically a western town, Red Dead Redemption is sending its regards, and we have all the classic buildings you would expect. There's a post office, there is of course the Undertaker, and the grocery store. Let's see what else this town has for us. And of course, there's a saloon. Let's go inside. So it's been a while since somebody was in the saloon, but we have this beautiful stage here with a piano. There are also some spotlights up here. So once the generator is turned on, you can actually dance in the spotlight. Let's go upstairs. Upstairs we have our poker tables, you know, for those who have some gamble addictions. This is perfect. And what I like about Lower the Sol, or about the Sol in general, is that you have access to the roofs. So you always saw these Wild West movies where people were shooting from the roofs. Yep, you can do that too now. And it's pretty awesome. And next up we have Upper the Sol, basically the northern part of the Sol western town. It's very similar to Lower the Sol. The biggest difference is that we have this kind of marketplace here. And this statue. There's also some engravings that you can read if you're interested. And this is the heart of Upper the Sol, the National Bank of the Sol. Let's go inside. So, in my opinion, the amount of details in the buildings is insane. If you feel like a little bit of a role play for bank robbery, there is even a vault in the basement. Now we're gonna have a look at Fort Bolton. So, if you're a fan of cowboys versus Native Americans, then honestly, a dream comes true for you. The compound is massive. Most of the compounds in this cell are actually pretty huge. You have here this front part, and then if you go into the back, you have this huge bonfire. At night, that looks absolutely stunning. Outside of Fort, you have some watchtowers, you have some rock formations, so you can actually defend the walls against people attacking the fort. Inside is more or less actually pretty standard. Even the fort has lots of different levels and lots of space inside. You have the ground level, you have basically the walkway level, and then you have even a level above that. That gives you a nice scouting point slash sniper position, if you feel bold enough to sit up there. Another eye catcher is definitely Pelican Island Prison. It's just mind blowing if you stand in front of that thing. The compound is again huge. It's a prison on a mountain on an island. So if you want to get some training, you can use all these different weights here in the courtyard. Or maybe you want to join the boxing cage. The interior of the prison is mostly destroyed, which gives it a nice creepy vibe. And if you go to the highest point, you have another sniper location with a red barrel, because why not? And I have to say, this looks awesome. Now before everybody starts screaming, this is a sniper map, let's have a look at First Testimonial Church, which is an old abandoned weathered church. Around the church you have lots of graveyard areas. And you have these open, bright areas, with again lots of detail with the graves. 
But you have also these rather dark and narrow areas. The point of interest for this compound is definitely the church itself. And as you can see, Mother Nature is already claiming back its territory. And what would be a church without a bell? The next compound, Seven Sister Estate, was basically used back in the past, in its glory days, to take care of horses, train them, and maybe do some horse tournaments. As you can see, they added lots of new props. Also, if you're interested, there's a little bit of a corn maze. Inside, again, it's rather basic. It's a barn. I kind of like that, honestly, that they didn't go over the top with these areas. Because this is just how these farms were back in the days. This compound is pretty huge, but it has also lots of open space. You have this back area here with a nice view over the prison. And just a nice view over the whole landscape. If you want to go down to the main road, it's not a big problem. The compound has its own elevator. Because what could go wrong? Taking the super exposed elevator in front of that forest. Let's have a look at Pearl Plantation which has probably one of the most amazing buildings in the new map. It has these wide hallways and I personally absolutely love this because normally buildings are very much shotgun favored. But since these rooms are so big, you still have a fighting chance with a rifle. Now let's have a look outside. We have this wonderful garden here with its own hot tub, which I, uh, yeah, I don't really recommend that one. There's even a bigger one, right here, and that one definitely has some fresh water for us, right? Yeah. Not so much. But not everything is soaked in blood in Pearl Plantation. There's also this nice little suburb. Next up we have a look at Moses Poultry. So, a chicken farm. And again, they probably had a lot of work with this one since they added so many new props to the map. They have new chicken coops, they have the chicken cages. Wherever you go, you see chickens. Mo well, mostly dead ones. What I absolutely love about the cell is the fact that each compound has a specific meaning. You enter the compound and you immediately know what they were doing there. For example, take the older maps, Windy Run. Honestly, up until today I still don't know the purpose of Windy Run. So I'm pretty happy that even if this is not looking too overwhelming, because that's just how these compounds looked, I know I'm repeating myself, I think this is really amazing. I mean, just look at this here, with the lighting and everything. Now we will have a look at Heritage Park. And it's one of the biggest compounds I've ever seen. Just look at the main building, how tall it is. And yep, it goes all the way over there in the back. And there's also quite a bit over here. Now, this is one of the compounds where disgust meets respect meets holy crap this is awesome because well if we go into the inside it's kind of fucked up well done Crytek the PvP in this compound feels very nice keep in mind this is just a first impression though you have so many ways of getting rid of people who are chasing you map knowledge on this one definitely will pay off. 
Then another very functional compound is Forked River Fishery. Well, where they do all the fishing stuff. It's another very authentic compound. And yes, there is quite some water, but the water is not very blocking you from anything. Mostly it's more like an audio trap that I can hear the splish splash pretty far. Inside has some pretty cool moments like this one right here. And regarding compound size, it's more on the smaller end. Which is actually not a bad thing, because if you have only big compounds, they start to almost overlap. And then you have no more transition phase. This is fine when you have like two compounds that are basically one, like lower the sol and upper the sol. But sometimes you leave the compound and you can already see the entry from the next one. So it's good that not all of these compounds, because most of them actually are super huge. Now we will visit King Snake Mine, and as you can already see, that thing is unique, and it's another one of these, well, bigger compounds. Lots of verticality, and I got one question a lot, are there any mines? And I have to say, sadly, no, maybe not yet. We will see, the other maps got at one point the rework, but they created again very unique props, as you can see right here. So I personally hope that there will be mines at one point. Right now there are like a couple tunnels, but nothing too crazy. Beautiful looking compound and PvP super fun since you have all these multiple levels. Then Stanley Coal Company. And the first thing that catched my eye was the smoke coming out of the chimneys. You don't have to do anything special like turning on an oven or something like that. It's just per default. Lots of stuff again to explore, lots of walkways that are unique. Some even with a little bit of metal cover there, which is pretty cool. Then again, we have the topic of verticality. I know you will hear that word a lot when people are talking about this all because it is true. The amount of levels in the compounds at least in most of them, is crazy. And another question that I got a lot, do these trains move? And sadly again, they do not. They are amazing props, but that's it. Most of the compounds have watchtowers outside, so be careful when you peek windows or when you are on the walkway. Ash Creek Lumber. At first glance, it looks very rifle favored. Especially because a huge chunk of the compound are all these piled up blocks. But the main building is huge too, so I think this one is pretty balanced regarding rifle and shotguns in general. The open area over here might make it a bit tricky to push the main building, but we will definitely find ways. Also from the southwest side and west side there's forest, so it's easier to approach from over there. The other side though, north is pretty open as well. Looks stunning, but be careful. Lots of windows facing your way. Then we take a little peek inside. Typical sawmill. You have the tools. You have the logs lying around. You have the saw blades. Everything you need for a sawmill. Now they're in shipyard. That thing got teased into oblivion on Crytek social media. The shipyard is actually pretty cool, especially inside. There are some buildings outside, but the focus should definitely be this building right here. Inside there is basically the ship, which is under construction. And at the front part of the ship, you have this platform right here. Nice for rifle players, sniper players, but you're also pretty exposed. Lots of people will get used to that spot very quickly and check that with their own scopes and weapons. Darren Shipyard only has two levels, which is crazy for the saw. The lower level can be used as a sneaky entry or exit point. And again, once more, I want to show you guys the beautiful landscape of the saw. As 
And the last compound for this video, Weeping Stone Mill. Compound size, medium, awesome level, high. I can't stress it enough, again, so many new props and just look at this thing right here. Can you jump inside? Well, <laughs> you can find it out yourself. It also has this beautiful walkway if you want to relax a little bit from the killing. Or maybe you want to stroll a little bit through the compound. And a few outer words. Honestly, I'm super impressed. The amount of detail that went into this map is insane. I think my favorite is the western town because PvP over there just feels crazy. The uniqueness of a few compounds is also pretty cool. Some of the compounds are real monsters regarding their size, which might be good, might be bad, because I also like these two clips right here, where you just roam through the map and let the sound just show you its pretty face. I don't know if this map will be shotgun or sniper favorite, I think it will be pretty balanced. Yes, there are a lot of sniper locations, but the whole map has an insane density regarding objects and foliage that helps you break line of sight. So we will see. I hope you enjoyed this little tour, and here's the outro. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Sao. You can play it on the test server if you want, you know, should you not be able to wait any longer. Also my usual, but still sincere shout out to my patrons. You guys are amazing. Thank you for watching. The only 1.6 video that I still want to do is the patch notes video. It might come tomorrow, otherwise Monday. I hope. i see you in the next one. Until then, have a good day and bye bye.